Hi, I'm Mary Norris, a copy editor at The New Yorker. Today we're going to talk about less and fewer. We get more mail about less and fewer than almost everything except the diaresis. It's funny because it never bothered me very much. There's even a cartoon in The New Yorker. I didn't get that cartoon at first. But now that I've learned the difference, I am also bothered by it. So the difference is that you use fewer when you're talking about separate items that are countable. And you use less when you're talking about a bulk item, something that cannot be counted. For instance, if I were a Julia Child and I were whipping up a batch of scones, I would use fewer raisins but less flour. Raisins you could count, flour you measure. You can't say, I'll have one or two flowers, okay? There is an example in the review of Jurassic World, such as the fate of the sequel. Bigger, louder, fewer teeth. I don't think the author, Anthony Lane, would mind if I let on that when that originally came in, it said less teeth. We didn't know whether he really meant fewer teeth, as in countable teeth, this is the teeth of the velociraptors, or whether he meant less teeth in the sense of less bite. And it could have been either. We get now less mail, fewer letters, because Anthony Lane chose to write fewer teeth. So thank you for that. You have to bear in mind the context. This is a sentence from a piece by Dave Eggers about the town of Hollister, California. The health of Catherine Hawkins initially improved, but she died less than two years after the journey. Two years after the journey does not mean two individual years. I mean, we're not talking about one year and then the next year. That would be fewer than. But in this context, we're talking about a span of time, something that's really not countable. The proper usage is less than two years. Okay?